Hello everyone and welcome back to Hoddle or Sell, where we'll be breaking down Amazing Spider-Man number 256. In the end, we will let you know if we plan to hodl or sell. As always, this is not financial advice, but purely for entertainment purposes only. Also, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button to receive updates on all our content. This video is sponsored by Elite Comics 11, Instagram's number one community-powered comic sales page. This Monday, April 25th, we are getting the modern age comic Amazing Spider-Man number 256, the first appearance of Puma, story by Tom DeFalco, with art and cover by Ron Friends and Joe Rubenstein. The Puma, also known as Thomas Fireheart, is the final step in a generations-long genetic experiment by the Kasani Native American tribe to create the perfect warrior, to battle evil and injustice, and has at times had a rivalry with Spider-Man, who dislikes his crime-fighting methods. While Puma never gained the popularity like other Marvel villains turned heroes, he has made an appearance in several stories from the 80s and early 90s. According to Go Collect, Amazing Spider-Man number 256 as a 9.8 grade is currently valued at $270 with a 90-day average of $350. For my final verdict, I give this book a sell. This comic has been very quiet in terms of sales, and it's very likely this comic will continue to stay stagnant unless we hear speculation of this character joining the MCU. To our knowledge, there has not been any news regarding this potential speculation. So if we land the comic on drop day, we will be selling only if we're in the green to reinvest into more significant grails or Silver Age keys. That being said, Keep your ears to the ground on any spec news of this character joining the MCU. If this happens, there could be a great opportunity to buy back in low before the comic potentially increases in value. Potentially. That, that is a very heavy maybe. Just want to be clear on that. Don't quote us later. Not financial advice. I'm Ron Burke. Please make sure to reference the spreadsheet on our link tree for each comic definition and ranking. The link will be included in the details below. Overall, we still believe that Silver Age, Key, and Grill books should have the best long-term value. Also, if you would like to see our weekly comic book rankings, please make sure to follow us on Twitter at Comics and Crypto, where we will have new VV comic book rankings every Monday. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and check out the rest of our podcasts on Apple, Spotify, and Amazon. Along with our weekly episodes, we will also be doing a hot or sell video the day before every drop to help you make the best decision for your collection. Special thanks to Nine Finger for their incredible intro music. You can find them on Instagram at Ninefinger999. Make sure to stop by and give them some love. Thank you all again for tuning in and we will see you on the next one.